Well, hi, I'm here. I'm actually listening to music, so I'll be a, I'm a little distracted. Let me take that out. Uh, I'm here working on this job. I'm going to show you this job here. I want to show people how to hand tape, okay? So I'm going to hand tape this job. It's about 10 sheets. It's on the borderline of me using my bazooka or not. But I have a lot of damage in this closet too. I'll show you if you can see it. Uh, it's where the shelves were. I have some holes up here. I've got these are brand new drywalled walls. This one and this one. There was a there was actually if you can see a bump right there. There must have been a screw or something on the studs when they put the drywall up and they missed it. Out here, uh, it's a little darker, but this was the old existing. They moved that over. They added this pocket door, uh, is what they did. So, and this is new drywall here. I've got a patch down here. I come into the bathroom. There's no light in here. So I come into the bathroom. They put in the shower. They put in all this other stuff. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how I tape spin this around how I tape just these walls that are behind me I'm going to tape the seams I'm going to tape the seams and I'm going to tape the angles and finish it all by hand because I would do this by hand but I'm going to do it in a way where anybody can do it how I'm going to show you how to mud it up really easy I'm going to show you everything that I need to show you so anybody can do this this is for the novice the DIYer who has a room to do and and it's going to be a very simple way to do it um so let me I'm going to pre-fill it and when I start to tape I'll set the camera up so you can see me tape it you've seen so many of me pre-filling it I have to pre-fill these scenes first you, you know me I, I gotta fill these in with with Durbond uh, and I also wanted to talk about these angles so many people talk about these angles and, and the gaps and how they pre-fill the gaps, uh, how they didn't like the way I just taped the gaps and everything else. Understand this. Uh, this wall is not attached to that ceiling. This drywall is attached to these studs. That ceiling is attached to the ceiling trusses or the floor joists. So when this shrinks up, this is gonna shrink up this direction and this direction down because the studs are going to shrink this way and they're going to shrink this way right and it's going to carry the drywall with it drywall is attached to the studs it's going to carry the drywall with it when the ceiling shrinks it's going to shrink that direction it is not going to shrink down at all because again the drywall is attached to those studs they're going to shrink this direction and they're going to shrink this direction so they're going to pull their ways away from that angle I have never seen an angle get crushed together and crush the mud that's in the angle. Angles always pull apart. They always pull, whoops, see my fingers. They pull apart because this wall goes, this wall goes this way, this wall goes this way, and the angles pull apart and they become round in the angles. So whenever I'm fixing and repairing angles, it's because they're round here because the two walls pulled away from each other. Having a gap there and just taping the gap has no effect on that whatsoever. I mean, it doesn't have any effect on that whatsoever. Fill in the gap with mud if you want. I found it's unnecessary. I don't have a problem with angles uh, in having to mud them in. I just don't. Seams, on the other hand, seams here. This, this drywall shrinks up. And in, in this mud inside of the seam, if it is not a really, really hard mud, will just crush into powder. And it just right into powder, and you're going to have this line coming right down the seam eventually. I've cut out hundreds of them, and I'm just taking the powder out of the angle. Or out, I'm sorry, out of the seam. I apologize. I'm just taking the powder out of the seam and then having to retape the seam. This, all of these studs right here are as big as they're going to be. They're not going to expand anymore. They're covered in drywall. They're just going to contract. And as this wall contracts, it goes that way. As this wall contracts, it goes that way. And this gap in the angle is going to get bigger, never smaller. 
Fill it in if you want. Not going to really matter. Angle's going to get bigger anyway. And, uh, and if it gets so big, it gets round. If it gets so big that it gets round, now you got to cut it out and you got to retape it. And then you shouldn't have a problem with it because the wood shrunk up to where it's supposed to be in the first place. So let me get this pre-filled and I'll get back to you. I also don't want you to get the wrong impression too that if the gap is so big that it, the tape might not cover, I'm doing something about that. But the, I mean, the tape is, you know, it's an inch and a half away from the wall. So if the, those gaps are almost an inch and a half away from the wall or really close to it, I'm going to tape it. I'm going to do something. Look at that. This is a great big break. I am going to fix that, pre-fill it, tape it. But if the gap is just a gap, it's a half inch gap or something like that in the wall, I'm just going to tape it. It's not going to, I've never had a problem with it. 40 years, I have not had to go back and fix a gap in the angle because I just taped it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's not what happens. I have that, I've had to fix angles because shrinkage, but it's not because there was a gap, it's because the walls shrunk away from the angle. So. I just wanted to show you that. I just had some bad spots and I want to show you, hey, I fill in the bad spots and the angles too, as long as they're close to an inch and a half away. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.